In this video, I'll show you how to export only captions or subtitles from Premiere Pro as an SRT subtitle file or as a text file. Welcome to this video. My name is David. So you've worked on a project, created the subtitles inside Premiere Pro, and now you want to potentially use the subtitles maybe on YouTube, that is upload the subtitle file, or just use the text file uh, in another place, wherever you want to use it. So how do you export your subtitles as a standalone file? It's pretty simple. And I've already walked you through the process of burning in the subtitles to the video so that they appear as you see them on screen. But let's just export the subtitles as a standalone SRT subtitle file and as a text file. It's pretty simple. So once you're done with your subtitling and you're on this particular uh, canvas or interface of the subtitles, you'll see three dots right here. If you click on those three dots, there are different options that you can see from here. Export to SRT file, and an SRT file is a subrip subtitle file. Export to text file, just a basic text file. Those are two options that we need. So I'll just click on export to SRT file, and this will prompt me to save the SRT file with my desired file name, and also to wherever I want to save it as. So let's just call it subtitle uh, one and the save as type is srt captions file if you click on the drop down there's no other subtitle file option available so i'll just click on save and once i click on save the srt subtitle file has been exported from premiere pro if i click on the folder with this particular file you'll see subtitle one here if i just double click on it this is what an srt subtitle file looks like it has a number that is subtitle number one and then a time code and it's the duration when this particular two lines or whatever uh, transcript or subtitle is available here is on screen so this is the time that defines when this particular text is going to be on screen and then a space and then a number and so on and so forth so a characteristic of an SRT subtitle file is a number time code and then we have uh, the, the text file or the subtitle file and then a space etc. So we have managed to export an SRT subtitle file from Premiere Pro. Now let us export a text file from Premiere Pro. We'll go back to Premiere Pro and uh, move along with the same process. Click on the three dots, export to text file, and then you rename this particular text file to whatever you want. Maybe you want to repurpose the text file into something else, let's say a blog post, you can do that. So let's just call it text file for lack of a better word and just click on save. If we navigate to the folder with our file, we have the text file here and this is uh, an, uh, a text file. Basically, you open it with any note uh, editing application and we're going to open it in notepad. If I just double click on it, you'll see uh, the text file available and the only difference between this particular text file and the SRT subtitle file, if I can just pull it uh, for side-by-side -side comparison, is that the SRT subtitle file has time codes, whereas uh, the text file has been stripped off the time codes uh, available. So these are uh, the options or the, uh, the export as an SRT to our left and the export as a text file to our right. The differences are clearly visible and basically if you only wanted to export your captions or subtitles from Premiere Pro as an SRT subtitle file or as a text file, that's how you can easily do it. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching.